Musicians of Bremen. In a small German village near the city of Bremen lived a donkey who worked for a miller. Day after day, year after year, he carried heavy sacks of corn to be ground at the mill. But as the donkey grew older, he could no longer manage the huge sacks, and his legs collapsed under him. He was sure that the miller would soon get rid of him, so he decided to run away. Now the donkey had always liked music, and he thought he could earn his living by playing in a town band. So one sunny morning, he set off down the road towards the great city of Bremen. He had not gone far when he met a dog lying at the side of the road. Hello, old dog, he said. And what's the matter with you? Oh, I'm too old these days to hunt foxes with the other hounds, panted the dog. My master is planning to get rid of me, I'm sure. And so, so I've run away. Why don't you come with me to Bremen, suggested the donkey. I'm going to join the town band. If I play the drum, you could play the trumpet. So the dog agreed, and the two of them set off down the road to Bremen. An hour or so later, they saw a cat sitting by the roadside looking very miserable. Hello, old pussy, said the donkey, and what's the matter with you? Oh, I'm getting old, replied the cat. My teeth are not as sharp as they were and it's hard for me to catch mice. My mistress is planning to get rid of me, I'm sure, and so I've run away. Why don't you come with us to Bremen, asked the donkey. We're going to join the town band. Since you're a cat, why don't you come and play the fiddle? So the cat agreed, and the three of them set off down the road to Bremen. <laughs> A few miles further on, the little group came to a farmyard. A fine cockerel was sitting on the gatepost, crowing away loudly. Hello, old cock, said the donkey. What's the matter with you? It's a bit late in the day for crowing. Oh, I'm old, explained the cock. I keep oversleeping in the mornings. The farmer is so angry, I'm sure he's planning to get rid of me. Why don't you run away with us to Bremen, replied the donkey. We're going there to join the town band. I will play the drum, the dog here will play the trumpet, and the cat will play the fiddle. You have a fine voice. Why not come and sing with us? So the cock agreed, and the four of them set off down the road to Bremen. <laughs> Well, it turned out that Bremen was a good deal further than any of them had thought, and as darkness began to fall, there was still no sign of the city. I, I, I think I'm a bit too old for such adventures, moaned the dog. And I'm very hungry. I'm feeling much more tired than when I was chasing mice, grumbled the cat. I'm sure it was warmer in the old farmyard in the evenings, sighed the cock. But the donkey said, look, there's a farm over there in the woods. If we sneak up quietly, we can snuggle down in the barn, and there may even be some food. So the four weary travellers crept up to the farmhouse, and the donkey peered in through the window. What can you see? the cat. 
There's a table loaded with food and drink, whispered the donkey. But there are three evil-looking men round it. I think they must be robbers. The four friends were much too hungry to give up the chance of a meal, so they crouched down out of sight and worked out a plan to frighten the robbers away. Then, very quietly, the donkey stood up with his front hooves on the window sill. The dog leapt onto his back. The cat climbed onto the dog's back. And the cock flew onto the cat's back. When the donkey waggled his ears, they all began making as much noise as they possibly could. The donkey brayed, the dog barked, the cat meowed, and the cock crowed, all at the top of their voices. You never heard such a terrible racket. Then the four friends all toppled over and crashed right through the window into the room. The robbers were so scared they rushed out of the house and disappeared into the woods. So the donkey, the dog, the cat and the cock sat up at the table and ate an enormous meal. They ate and drank until they were fit to burst. Then they put out the light and settled down to sleep. The donkey lay on some straw in the farmyard. The dog stretched out by the kitchen door. The cock flew onto the chimney pot and the cat curled up by the fire. Tired and full, they were soon all snoring away and dreaming of life in Bremen. Meanwhile, the robbers had seen the light go out. We must have been mad to let ourselves be frightened like that, said their leader. And he ordered one of his men to take a closer look at the farm. The robber crept up silently and climbed in through the broken window, then slipped into the kitchen to light a candle. He saw the cat's round eyes glowing in the dark, and thinking they were coals burning in the fire, he bent down to light the candle. But when he poked it towards the cat's eye, she leapt up at him, hissing and spitting and scratching his face. The man backed away in horror, but as he fled through the door, the dog jumped up and bit him on the leg. He hobbled across the yard, and the donkey gave him a great kick with his hooves. Then the cock flew down from the chimney pot and screeched all round his head. The poor robber had never been so scared in all his life, and he bolted back into the woods. Well, demanded the leader, what happened? There's, there's a witch in that house. She spat at me and scratched my face with her claws. <laughs> and there's a dwarf who stabbed me in the leg with a dagger. And in the yard, there's a big, dark monster who hit me with his club. And a great bat screeched around my ears. <laughs> I wouldn't go there again if you paid me a thousand gold coins. After that terrible night, the robbers never went near the house again. And the four friends decided they would never leave it. So they never did reach Bremen or join the town band.